Welcome back guys. In today's video, Sadie mentions that the pics at the top of the page are coming in huge. How can I resize them? So if your images in the image slider right here are coming in blurry or they're blown up, that means that the image file is too small. Like if it's 600 width by 400 height or 500 by 300 or 530 by 330 or something, that's too small because this space on the screen is way bigger. It's probably about uh, 1600 pixels by maybe about 800 in height. And your images have to be bigger than that so that WordPress will fit them into the space and size them down for you. Um, that's the bad news. So your images might be too small. Um, but the good news is it's really easy to get big images that look great in WordPress. You can either go to Google Images and just search for something like you know, Glacier and then there's this tools button. You can click tools and change the size to select large glaciers. So that's pretty cool. Always make sure to respect the copyright rules you'll find on Google Images. And what I like doing even is just adding the word wiki right here. And then you'll get some results from Wikipedia, which always have really clear copyright use scenarios. If you click them and then you click through to them, then you'll get the full explanations uh, right here. So that's pretty cool. You can also get large images on Pixabay. Just click free download and get either the biggest or the second biggest one and download and save it. All right, and you can see it says free for commercial use, no attribution required here, which is awesome. So then when we put them on the blog, WordPress will just resize them. If it's a huge space, the image just has to be slightly bigger than that huge space and it'll maintain its clarity because you're shrinking an image down and not blowing it up. And if it's a smaller little window or div like this, then the image will look really clear. And then these images don't have to be like 1000 by 2000. These could even be like 600 by 400 or something. All right, so if you really wanted to resize your images, like actually, physically crop them or change the size then you can just go to the page editor window like we are right here edit page and you can find the image in the text tab see visual and text up here text tab and you can just play around with the width and the height that wordpress assigns it like that so you can just change them um, this one might look bad if we change it because it's a circle but you get the picture. It'll just get a little bit bigger or smaller. Another way to resize your images would just be to re-add them. So just click add media, then choose an image like this one of Michelle playing some chess, and then you can just change the size right here in attachment display settings. So that's pretty easy. Um, I don't like how it got blurry when it's smaller, but I would definitely go with a bigger image than this one. Um, and then if you have a smaller space, WordPress should know that the image should shrink to fit that space. But again, you can go back to text tab and you can alter the width and the height if you'd like. All right, so that's pretty cool. This image doesn't look great. You can also try out different properties like auto or 100%. The auto or the 100% can be helpful if you know you need an exact number width and then you just need the height or the width, for example, to adjust to that other specific number that you wrote in. All right, and we know this image is not good because it has the 300 by 25 on the JPEG link right here. So that's why it's blurry because it's being restricted to that small size. Bigger is better when it comes to WordPress images. That was just not my finest uh, camera work right there. Finally, you can resize WordPress images in the Media tab. So just click Media, and then we can find an image to work on here. You'll look at these little teddy bears outside, and click Edit Image. And then from this window, you have a few more tools. You can change the dimensions, and the uh, image will just, you know, resize and scale. And then you can click Scale, and you'll actually make a physical change to the image. Once it saves, the image will update on your site if it's live, so if you shrink it, it'll actually shrink on your site. You can also crop it just by clicking on the image and dragging it. 
and then you get this crop button to highlight. So I'm literally just putting my mouse and clicking and dragging. And then we can click away to get rid of the crop. And then if you made a change you don't like, you can just try the restore original image option and it will discard and restore. So now we have the biggest image again that we took originally. All right, so that was taken on an iPhone. You can take really big images also on your Android. And I hope that helps you to get the best resolution, best quality images in WordPress and to resize them so they look good in your spaces and they don't look blurry. Thanks so much to Sadie for asking the question that inspired this video. Thanks so much to you for letting us know that it was sorted. Uh, I just thought I'd make a video because we hadn't talked about blurry or resizing images yet, but it's really great when you guys sort out problems on your own because that's the most important skill in WordPress, in my opinion, is just making it work. And learning how to do it when I'm not here to help or when you're just on your own working on your site is the best skill because then you get all the credit and feel super WordPress powerful. Okie doke guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll do our best to make WordPress blogging even more fun for you. Thanks for watching because I really enjoyed making this for you guys and I'll see you next time.